Oh, excuse me. Hello? Hello. John? Hello, Daddy. Come on down here with Snooks. We have a little surprise for you. Well, we we won't be down for some time. Why? There's, uh... I have to help her with something. Homework? Uh, no. I'm teaching you something. What? I'll tell you about it later. Well, okay, but don't forget to come when you're through. No, I won't. Goodbye, John. Goodbye, Daddy. Whatever he's teaching her, he sounds like he's ashamed of it. All right, Snooks. Is the door closed? Yes, Daddy. Pull down the shade. Why? I don't want the nosy neighbors making remarks. All right. Nobody can see now, Daddy. And that's better. Now you can hand me my knitting. Here. I thought you were working on it all day. You haven't even started it. It keeps slipping off the needles. Well, you've got to tie the wool first. Why? Haven't you even learned how to cast on? Huh? Didn't I show you last night how to cast on, then knit two, purl two, and work plain and stocking that stitch until you came to the ribbing? Mommy says your friend will give you that. Give me what? The ribbing. Never mind your mommy. I don't expect a former female wrestler to know how to knit. <laughs> Besides, what have I got to be ashamed of? I don't know. I started knitting when I was very young to, to relax my nerves. When I was 14, I was the head of a tatting club. <laughs> was you a tomboy, Daddy? No, I wasn't a tomboy. You want to learn how to make a sweater, don't you? Uh-huh. All right, then watch me. Yeah, well, watch me. Now, first you cast on. Then you knit two, two. purl two, two, for 94 stitches. See? <laughs> Gee, you don't say it, Daddy. Oh, this is nothing. Yeah. Look, I can keep knitting without looking, and I can keep talking to you and never... Uh-oh. What happened? I dropped a stitch. Where? I don't see nothing on the floor, Daddy. I didn't drop it on the floor. Huh? Oh, I'll have to rip this out again. I want to rip it. No. <laughs> All right, but pull it easy so it doesn't come off the needle. I'm learning how to knit, ain't I, Daddy? Now, here, let me see you try it. Take the needles. All right. Look how pretty side door, Daddy. You haven't got the wool on there. Oh. How do they get wool, Daddy? From the sheep. They cut that wool from the back of a sheep. Oh, oh Daddy. Don't you believe me? Of course, there aren't any blue sheep. The wool is white until it's dyed. Does a sheep turn blue when it dies? The wool is dyed. They make it any color they want. Who does? The dyer. Who's he? The man who dies. What does he die for? What does he die for? Mm. To make a living, of course. <laughs> How is the man going to live if he doesn't die? Does he like to die, Daddy? Why, certainly. I tried it myself a few years ago. I died for two years. Do you feel better now? I feel fine. Let's get that sweater on the way. Now, come on, start knitting. I knit two. Yeah. Pearl two. Mm -hmm. Knit two. <laughs> Tell me, let me do it myself. All right, go ahead. Knit, pearl, one, two, knit, knit, pearl, pearl, one knit. Oh, you've got it all tangled up. Now, look, you tie the wool on first. Yeah. Then you cross the needles like this. Yeah. Then put one needle through. Yeah. Hook the wool. Yeah. Take it under. Yeah. Then over it. Now, there. Now you have a stitch. <laughs> I have a wonderful daddy. Oh, sure. <laughs> The war will be over before you finish. What war? What war? Yeah. You mean you don't know who's fighting? Well, you and Mother, you always... <laughs> Nothing to do with the war. I'm talking about the armies. Are you going to join the army, Daddy? I'm going to register on February the 16th. 
And if they accept me, I'll be proud to do my duty. Well, who's going to do the knitting? There'll be plenty of people to do the knitting. Soldiering will be no novelty for me. Mm -hmm. I fought in the last war, you know. Did you, Daddy? Yes. Where was I? Oh, you weren't even born yet. Why? <laughs> because I was only a youngster. Hadn't even thought of marriage. After the war was over, I got married. And then the new war began, huh? <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. But you're right in both cases. Someday I'll show you the medal I received at Vimy Ridge. You're brave, ain't you, Daddy? Oh, just lucky, Snooks. Oh, <laughs> but you, you ain't scared of anything in the whole world. <laughs> no, I don't think I am. Except Mummy. <laughs> I'll just leave Mummy out of our conversation. War is horrible enough without bringing her in. Why do people fight, Daddy? Oh, I don't know. Ideals, I guess. Mm -hmm. Liberty. Nobody really wants to fight, you know. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it can't be helped. Mm -hmm. You're a little too young to understand. How old must I be? Before you can understand? No, before I can fight. <laughs> How old am I to stop and die? No. Ah. Oh, sorry, Daddy. How, uh, here. I'm going to show you something I've never even shown to your mummy. Now, look at this picture. Who is it? That's a picture of me taken in France during the last war. I was a member of the famous Cameron Highlanders. Why are you wearing that skirt? That's a kilt. Yeah. It was a Scotch regiment. And we all wore kilts. Plenty tough, too, boy. We were known as the ladies from Hades. Oh. Now I know where you like to knit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't have much time for knitting then, baby. Hardly enough time to go to bed in our bunks or eat a meal at mess. The army must be awful, Daddy. Oh, not so bad. Why? Mm -hmm. It can't be good if the bed is the bunk and the meals is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just a military term. Now, let's get back to the knitting. You want to try it again? Uh-huh. All right. Now, cross the needles. I got it. Wind the wool around. Uh, now, under. Under. Hook it. Yeah. Over. There. See, you did it all by yourself. <laughs> Another sweater? Yes. Yeah. You've got to knit that whole ball of wool. I'm tired. Oh, never mind. Go upstairs, and in my bureau drawer, you'll find a blue sweater. Send that to the soldiers, and they'll never know the difference. I can't do it, Daddy. Well, sure you can. The wool in my sweater's almost the same as theirs. It is the same. What do you mean? I pulled it apart this morning. <laughs> oh, well. Come on, we'll go out and buy six sweaters and send them in. I think they'll be better anyhow, Daddy. What a life. Come on. Daddy.